Hey Brick Fanatics! Well, as we prepare to wave goodbye to 2021 and say hello to 2022, we thought we'd take a look back on what's been a fantastic year for LEGO fans of all ages. We've had some truly creative and unexpected sets. I mean, who'd have thought we'd be building a trainer from the humble brick? And we've had some brilliantly designed minifigures. My personal favourite was Marv Merchants from LEGO Ideas Home Alone. Now, how many of you out there knew that that was his actual surname. It feels like the LEGO portfolio has been expanded beyond what any of us thought was possible thanks to some extraordinary sets tapping into cult TV shows, uber popular gaming franchises and iconic brands delivering us everything we could have hoped for and more. But let's not kid ourselves, 2021 hasn't been without its hiccups as we'll find out in this video. So sit back, relax, make yourself comfortable as we take a look back at everything LEGO had to offer in 2021. 2021 was a big year for the LEGO Group, both figuratively speaking, it recorded its highest ever profits in the first half of the year, seeing an increase of 140%, that's roughly £763 million, ka-ching, but also literally delivering fans not one, not two, but three of the largest LEGO sets of all time. The awesomely impressive UCS 8080, the gargantuan Titanic, and the largest of them all, the beautiful art piece that is the world map. And yes, it does count as a large LEGO set, regardless of the pieces within. Not only that, but 2021 played host to LEGO Marvel's largest set of all time, the Daily Bugle, and LEGO Ideas' largest set of all time, Home Alone. It really felt like the LEGO Group's mission statement for this year was go big, go bigger, go biggest. But as we found out when we interviewed LEGO for Adults Head of Product, Jen Cruz, that wasn't quite the case. I think it, it's really that it has happened organically. So basically when we, when we gather with the designers, think about what kind of experience do we want to create, so we don't think in terms immediately in terms of oh this needs to be a big set or a small set. We think about what are the passion areas that um, adults would be interested in, and then what is the best expression of that. And then it so happens that for some of them, they are really really big expressions like the Colosseum or the Titanic um, and the map. Not not to mention. So I think we, I would still say that the primary consideration is. What is it that we think the consumers would want and then finding the best articulation of that in level form. This is an ethos that not only applies to the LEGO Group's own designs, but also extends out into the LEGO Ideas range. Fan designer Alex Storazuk's Home Alone set is not only widely praised across the board, but it's also the largest LEGO Ideas set of all time. And design manager Sam Johnson and designer Antika Brakhanov talked us through what it was like creating such a mammoth set. Yeah, but you have to have the whole thing because you know, you've got one shot to do it, right? Potentially, you know, we're not going to make a second McAllister house. What's the point of that? So, so let's put everything into one awesome giant set. And uh, yeah, it's been really crazy, really cool. No matter what the idea is, it's always whatever the fans voted for. You want to make, you know, the best possible set because you're taking someone else's idea and you're trying to understand what they had in mind when, when they made that and you're trying to you know take that thought and then make the set you know just put it in a box and make it even better if you can and translate the, their idea into, into your own and i think that's that's the challenge you're always trying to you know people ten thousand people voted for something and now you have to maybe you have to make some changes maybe you have to make it bigger or smaller depending on what it is and you're just you know you just want to put that in front of all those fans and, and and you still want them to say yes this is amazing this is what exactly what I wanted so I don't think at least not for me I don't think it has of course if you're if you're a big fan of, of a certain IP you want to make something even better because it comes from you know like big passion about the IP and and you know the Lego itself uh, but no I, I think I think it's more like this you know feel feel of duty towards fans that, that voted for something, that you just want to make it the best possible. So yeah, that's that's always the challenge. <laughs> you think about a set that might be three, four hundred dollars, 
it's a diff totally different experience to designing a set that's maybe got a hundred bricks in it. You know, so you know you have to when you have a set that's really small, every brick counts. You know, every brick has to be visible pretty much and has to serve a purpose. Whereas, you know, you can have a lot of cool structural details or building experiences. You know, making fun things and, and uh, when you go bigger. Larger Lego sets means more time building, more amazing techniques to discover, more creative part usage, and more shelf space to find. Not always the easiest thing to do. But this year it didn't just feel like Lego went big, it also felt like this was the year that Lego grew up. 2021 has been the first full year for the newly rebranded LEGO for Adults, having initially started in May of 2020, and by now we've all become rather well accustomed to the minimalist black packaging. LEGO for Adults is more than a single range, rather it's an idea, which underpins a variety of new LEGO sets, a new focus which has allowed LEGO designers to take off the training wheels and really experiment with some weird and wonderful sets that otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Said Jen Cruz, It has really expanded our playing field because by simply looking at it from the perspective of what are the things that adults are interested in, then that kind of uh, expanded our area of, of exploration because then we were able to get into the territory of, let's say, display, like purely displayability, dis displayable items, right? Like uh, within the space of art and deco that maybe otherwise won't be a key priority for kids. So they would, of course, be very much in the um, role-playing and the story and the playability aspect, whereas adults uh, really focus a lot on the displayability. Sam Johnson agrees, saying... An 18-plus you know, new redesign of LEGO for adults has really been uh, successful for design is because we, now we have the opportunity to try all kinds of weird things that we pretty much did for fun to put on people's desks as a joke. And, you know, now these things blossom into, like, real products. You know, there's a guy who really likes added our superstars and now he can actually make one and it could be a real Lego set or even flowers you know that came from something that people did for fun when people were retiring or something like that you know like here's a here's some flowers that you can have forever and that's the premise behind that whole product and you know so it gives us this opportunity to try out new ways to present products and new new ways to present Lego that maybe has never been done before, you know, the blacksmith, we would never have done that set if this was a play theme, you know, if this was a standard knight's play theme. Because it's so detailed, it's super cool, but it just gave us that opportunity to maybe inspire people to make their whole village that goes with it. You know, so that's uh, that's what I really love about this uh, new uh, 18 plus style, is that, you, you know, you, new ways to communicate, new, uh, new building experiences, you know, and yeah, new uh, ways to interpret IPs. The rise of LEGO for adults has allowed a lot of older LEGO fans to either rekindle their love for these wonderful plastic bricks or finally feel comfortable expressing that love publicly. A wider variety of LEGO sets aimed at grown-ups has meant that the LEGO fan base is more diverse now than ever, and that can only be a good thing. In fact, 2021 saw a deliberate push by the LEGO group to include more diverse characters and themes within their sets. We had two passion projects from LEGO's VP of Design, Matthew Ashton, that not only celebrated human uniqueness, but put it front and centre. Everyone is awesome and the Queer Eye Fab Five Loft. On top of that, we've seen a whole host of diverse minifigures across a number of themes that are representing a wide range of cultures. Not only did they get fans building, but they also got fans thinking, something that's key to the LEGO group's own identity. This is uh, top, really at the top of our priority as a company. Like the LEGO brand really cares about um, you know, championing diversity and inclusion, especially since we are a brand for children and we're all about inspiring and developing the builders of tomorrow. Um, and these things are of course essential to building that kind of future that we want our children to be part of. Um, so I would say that it is pretty high up there in, in our agenda. And yeah, I, I mean, I can't be prouder, any prouder to, to be in a company that really supports um, these uh, important endeavors. Personally, as a LEGO fan and journalist, it also makes me proud to know that the brand that I love so much has got such important values right at its core. So far, 
so good. But not everything LEGO did this year rocked, where some products hit a bum note. Ah, oh, video. Oh, video. The biggest heartbreak of the year. It's been a while since we've seen an entire range of LEGO sets move quite so embarrassingly quickly into the bargain bins. Mere weeks after the App Heavy range launched, it was clear that it just wasn't cutting it. What makes this particularly galling is that there's so much good stuff in the video range. Beatboxing llamas with shutter shades, violin playing folk fairies with gorgeous transparent wings. Personally, Punk Pirate Octopus is my aesthetic to a T, and it's like they were made personally just for me. We've spoken about the great successes of LEGO's push for more diversity, and video has it in spades, mashing together a variety of different pop cultures and music genres to make something that, in theory, appeals to everyone. The problem is that the LEGO group still hasn't quite nailed the right balance between combining digital and physical toys. The big draw with video was meant to be its mobile app. LEGO fans can build a music video out of printed 2x2 tiles, which can be read by a dedicated AR app, bringing the minifigures to life. This follows in the footsteps of LEGO Dimensions, Hidden Side, and LEGO Super Mario in combining LEGO with video games. The logic here is that kids today can't get off their tablets, so LEGO can convince them to play video games while also being creative in a physical space. Video's initial wave of sets, though, struggles with balance. There's not a lot of actual LEGO, with these LEGO sets. It's just a big plastic carry case for a single minifigure. The majority of the fun is meant to come from the app, which is too far removed from the actual LEGO experience. What's more, these things are expensive. Nearly £20 for a plastic box and a single minifigure? That's a hard sell, no matter how gorgeous the minifigure may be. The good news is that the next wave of video sets are substantially more meaty, and the LEGO group has promised that the range will be re-evaluated and given another chance in 2022. Besides, it's clear that there is a place for these kinds of app-augmented LEGO sets. Just look at the success of the Super Mario range. Perhaps the moral here is that if you really must make a physical digital LEGO hybrid, it helps if you have a really strong IP to get the ball rolling. Licensed IPs have always been a successful formula for LEGO sets, and LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Marvel, and LEGO Harry Potter all released some incredible and popular sets this year. But beyond that, the LEGO group have expanded its licenses, adding Looney Tunes, Seinfeld, Fender, and Adidas to the catalogue, as well as building on the success it's seen with established brands like NASA and Super Mario. LEGO Ideas has of course been responsible for a number of new IPs hitting the shelf, but thanks to the freedom offered by LEGO for adults, we've also seen some incredibly unexpected and rather cool partnerships crop up this year too. And the first thing that came to my mind was now I, we can take more advantage of uh, the IP content that we use and communicate stories in a more detailed way. Um, so if we take Winnie the Pooh, is it about, you know, this is Winnie the Pooh and he's a bear. Is it more about that or is it, could we do a whole like the theme song or something when you open the box, you know, so, you know, so it gives us opportunity to change some, some stuff try out some things which is yeah it's been really great and but it has um, I think I would say in a positive way affected the way that we design Lego sets because now it's not just about um, make a set and stick a plaque on it you know make a replica or something like why are we making that replica like what's the important thing about making that thing you know and what details are important to people should it be uh, a brick built shoelace or should it be a real shoelace you know where do we get that shoelace <laughs> you know, so it's, it's questions like that where you can ask really a lot of um, cool questions and then deliver something totally unique to people that they didn't even expect and um, of course there are some formulas right we're always going to cars we're always going to do uh you know houses and all this kind of thing but uh you know what can we do to bring them to life we can do it in a unique way every time and working in partnership with well-established brands means more authenticity, endorsed by the very company that LEGO are trying to recreate, the Fender Stratocaster being a perfect example. You know, LEGO's never worked with Fender before and they, um, they were a really cool partner to work with, you know, a consumer goods company, working with a consumer goods company, being able to share assets was really cool. You know, they, they even made our LEGO guitar as a real guitar, so, so that was pretty awesome. 
So all in all, it's been a fabulous year for LEGO, something which has made an otherwise turbulent 12 months a little easier to bear for all of us. We've seen the types of LEGO sets available expand greatly, often literally, with larger sets, more varied intellectual properties and greater diversity, both in terms of representation within LEGO sets and in terms of the LEGO fanbase as a whole. Sure, not everything has gone smoothly this year, but all in all it's been a good year to be a LEGO fan. The only question left is, how will the LEGO group top 2021? We already know some things that are coming in 2022, courtesy of the LEGO Ideas range, but from the sounds of things, this is only the beginning," said Jen Cruz. So we would still very much be looking into newer fashion areas like art and deco, gaming, um, music, sports. Those would still be, you could say, the areas of investigation, while of course still delivering on the what I would call the core where we have entertainment IPs, vehicles, um, and the Lego passion point. So basically, you know, the models that are really meant for, for the fans. So we would continue developing those while um, exploring a little bit more on those other passion areas that I have just mentioned. So honestly, there's, there's quite a lot to, you could say, look forward to. Whatever we see in the coming months, one thing is certain. It is going to be a lot of fun. But hey, this list of big moments from 2021 is just our list, and we don't have time to touch on half the things that LEGO fans have been able to enjoy this year. Be sure to let us know your personal highlights from the past year in the comments below. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and the notification bell, and for more content reviewing 2021 in LEGO, be sure to head to the Brick Fanatics website. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck for whatever 2022 may hold.